British woodland is counting the devastating cost of recent bad weather and there are more storms on the way. And these storms are likely to cause some damage and disruption. Today we've got Storm Dudley with gusts of wind as high as 80 miles an hour, possibly more. On Friday we've got Storm Eunice bringing some snow and widespread very strong winds. And then on Sunday we also have a very windy day in prospect. I'll have all the details throughout this morning's programme. Dudley and Eunice sound like such a lovely couple, yeah. don't they? They sound very sweet and harmless. harmless. They yeah. do, they're quite innocuous names, aren't they? Lovely names, but not for storms. Well, those words you said to look out for the next couple of days, Carol, devastating, damaging. We're going to hear that a lot. Thank you very much indeed for now. But it's been a Thank wild you. winter, hasn't it, generally? Hasn't it? And uh, you can't say that Carol hasn't warned us this morning that it is time to batten down the hatches if you live in Scotland or parts of Northern England and Northern Ireland. Yes, yeah, Storm Dudley arriving today, just the latest in a series of storms causing havoc. And in fact, during this winter, 8 million trees have been felled by the weather. For a look at what the weather has in store, because two storms are coming, possibly more. That's right, Nina. We've got two named storms at the moment. Storm Dudley, which is coming our way today already. The wind's strengthening out towards the west. And the second one's coming our way on Friday, Storm Eunice, which potentially could have more widespread damaging winds with it. One certainly to watch. But before the storm, here's the cam. A lovely weather watcher's picture from Great Yarmouth this morning. Let's have a chat with Carol and a look at this morning's weather because we've been saying all morning, <gasps> it started behind you, the storms are coming. And are going to do set we in. have to do the weather for the next couple of days? <laughs> yes, because we love seeing Carol, stay, John. Stay yeah. in and forget it. Carol can sing a song or something instead. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would absolutely wipe Actually, out our audience. Actually, maybe not. That. Maybe not. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> Moving on swiftly, we do have some stormy days ahead, though. Today, we've got Storm Dudley, which is coming our way. The wind's already picking up out towards the west. And on Friday, we've got Storm Eunice, which potentially will have more widespread damaging gusts of wind and some snow. And here comes Carol with weather news to kill those smiles because yes. those storms <laughs> are getting close to Carol. Oh, thanks, Nina, but you're absolutely right. Yes, we do have two named storms this week. First one's coming our way today, that's Storm Dudley. Dudley. The second one is Storm Eunice, which is coming our way on Friday. Now, at the moment, the winds are strengthening out towards the west. This is Storm Dudley here, fast approaching, but the isobar is giving it away, telling you that the winds most certainly are strengthening. And as we go through the course of the morning, we'll lose the overnight rain from Scotland and the rain associated with Storm Dudley will sweep across Northern Ireland, Scotland, Northern England and Wales. And some of this will be heavy. Now, it's been a mild start to the day and it's going to be a mild day more or less across the board. We could have 16 or 17 as our top temperatures in the far southeast of England, four or five or six as we push further north. But the winds will be continuing to strengthen, as I mentioned, across the board. But I want to draw your attention to the Met Office Amber Weather Warning. Now, an amber weather warning means increased likelihood of impacts, due to severe weather and we're looking at gusts even inland as much as 60 to 70 miles an hour with exposure 80 to 90 miles an hour. So these are damaging and disruptive gusts of wind that we are talking about. That amber warning is valid until midnight tonight, but it still is going to be windy as we go through the night. Still with a lot of showers, some with hail, some with snow hill, hill snow I should say as well. And it's going to be a mild night for the south, not as mild as last night than it is as we push further north. So then, as we go through tomorrow, there's Storm Dudley moving away onto the near continent. Note the isobars behind it. It's still going to be windy for a time before they start to open out and then Storm Eunice will be coming our way. So a windy start to the day on Thursday. Gradually, the winds will ease through the day and it's going to be a day of sunshine and some showers, still wintry on the hills. Temperatures 5 in the north to 12 in the south. So here is Storm Eunice. Now, Storm Eunice is this area of low pressure. It's the pressure and it's falling so rapidly, it's undergoing what we call explosive cyclogenesis. It's another word for a weather bomb. And that means that the storm basically is deepening quite rapidly. Now, Storm Eunice, not just bringing very windy weather with gusts as much as 70 miles an hour, but also snow. So we're looking at that combination of blizzards and widely, 
we're looking at windy conditions. Now, that area of low pressure that is Storm Eunice could change direction. At the moment, it hasn't even formed. But this is what we think. We think it's going to bring rain and snow. Snow initially to Northern Ireland, in through parts of Scotland, Northern England and Wales. And as it pulls into the North Sea, it will drag this snow with it. And also, as I mentioned, widely very strong winds gusting as much as 60, 70 miles an hour. So that combination again means blizzards. So do keep tuned for the forecast if you have plans for Friday. And then on Sunday, it looks like we're in for another windy day. John and Nina. Let's hope nobody's chosen camping for February half term. Oh, who would choose ca <laughs> camping for February half term? You never know. Oh, dear.